This is that chapter 10 pre-class assignment tutorial. Question 1. Assume that you have a sample of n1 equals to 4, where sample mean x1 equals to 45, and a sample standard deviation of s1 equals to 5, and you have an independent sample of n2 equals to 5 from another population with a sample mean of x2 equals to 30, and a sample standard deviation of s2 equals to 6. Assume the population variance are equal at the 0 0.01 level of significance. Is there evidence that mu1 is greater than mu2? In this question, we have two different samples with their respective sample size, mean, and standard deviations. And we're asked to see if there's any evidence that mu1 is greater than mu2. So that's our alternate hypothesis, H1. And therefore, our H0 is that mu1 is less than or equal to mu2. So the answer is A. Once we have found H0 and H1, we can find t statistic using the formula bracket x1 minus x2 bracket minus mu1 minus mu2 bracket divided by sp square bracket 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2 bracket. And sp2 is our pooled variance. So in order to find t statistic, we need to first find the pool variance. And the formula for pool variance is bracket n1 minus 1 bracket s1 square plus bracket n2 minus 1 bracket s2 square divided by bracket n1 minus 1 bracket plus bracket n2 minus 1 brackets. Next, we can plug in the number to solve for sp square. So we have 75 plus 144 divided by 7. So sp square, we have 31.2857. After we found the pool variance, then we can solve for the t statistics. So we have bracket 45 minus 30 bracket minus 0. Mu1 minus mu2 is 0 because that's our H0. And for the denominator, we have square root 31.2857 times bracket 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 brackets. So our t statistic equals to 15 over 3.7521, which equals to 3.9977.